Here I'm up the image, or rather, adding room to the left. Uh, eventually I do up res it. Uh, you don't want your image to be too small. I usually work uh, minimum 150 dpi to start and then work my way up to 300 dpi. So here I am kind of filling out more of the right side of the screen. I felt it was cut in a little too close, but felt a little claustrophobic. And going back with the uh, flower brushes. Who knew flower brushes could lend itself to such a crazy looking piece? Uh, but that's the beauty of uh, beauty of art. There's kind of no right and wrong per se. Um, I'm using flower patterns to describe texture on metal. Here's a few other custom patterns I made in Photoshop just by using circles, rectangles, and uh, some of their own default shapes. You get to uh, come up with these really intricate patterns pretty quickly. So I selected it, I'm going to hide the selection and the glow brush, and I start hitting a few little points. see that I still am only working on two layers max um, just to try and keep it really simple uh, it's easy to kind of stall if you have a lot of layers because you're worried about condensing them uh, that's okay in the beginning when you're starting to learn about layers and Photoshop and editing and all that but it can hinder you after a while uh, when I have to do something like a matte painting in Photoshop, yeah, that's when you have lots of layers. Um, so there's times when you absolutely have to have many layers, and I recommend Photoshop for that. But Painter is nice because too many layers is, doesn't really work well. So I'm pulling up a lot of patterns that I get from the Dover art book, uh, the clip art. 